I'm Zach Lieberman. You know, most people think of ants as a little black dot, but when you suddenly see it in massive resolution, even a boring, you know, ant is not boring at all. Can you show me um, one that's particularly special to you? Oh, that's such a hard choice. There are so many great ants. I think some of the cooler ones are the trap jaw ants. There's a tribe of ants called the Dacetini. They've developed these massive mandibles that project out in front of the face. And they lie in wait with their mandibles cocked open in basically a straight line until something touches the little trigger hairs, at which point they snap closed. One of the other cooler genera is called Cephalotes. These ants are called phragmatic. Their heads are flattened into this dish-like shape. And they act as living doors, so the soldier cast will actually plug up the nest entrance, presenting any intruders with a big hard plate of exoskeleton that they can't get by. But then when one of their sisters comes by, she'll poke out her antennae and sniff each other and say, okay, you can come in. Any that have like really good camouflage? Oh yeah. This is a fun little genus. They're cute and fuzzy, but they're also spiny at the same time. Some of them have a habit of kicking dirt up onto themselves so that they get covered with it. And once they're plastered with soil, they'll freeze and play dead. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. It looks so soft. Yeah. One of the my favorite ants that I've encountered in Arizona. And these are fungus farming ants. They're very sort of slow, shy, dirt-colored ants. But then when you see them up close, they're covered with these amazing tubercles and hairs. This is a species I always like to show off, Catholicus oberthuri. To me, they look like gargoyles. Black, heavily sculptured. Beautiful. Wow. Very cool looking. <laughs>